So there's currently a race to see who can create the best tanks during World War One, but this is a very different World War One. Well, in some aspects, it's the same because we do have a war between Germany and the French. What else is new? But we also have the British Empire at war with Belgium in an alliance with France, Italy, and Serbia. And that front is currently happening somewhere deep in the Congo. Insert your Belgians in the Congo joke there. We also have a secondary conflict with Greece and Turkey here. Greece looks like they'll eventually join France and the UK side. Now, as I said, we are currently in a race to see who can design the best tanks and also sell them out to other countries. That way we continue to stay afloat and make a profit somehow. Because I don't know if it's just me, but this business doesn't have a whole lot of profit margins. We're definitely going to keep an eye on these several wars that are currently happening in the globe. Because again, as I said, these empires are just kind of beginning to experiment with tanks. I also need to choose exactly how I want to make my tanks. I definitely would enjoy if they had better firepower. We already just got improved rounds, so we're going to continue down this tech tree. Light naval gun. I don't really know why we would need that. I don't know how many tanks are fighting boats at this time. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Munitions. Why would I want a naval gun? I don't understand. Them. I currently have 20 tanks just sitting stored, collecting dust, waiting for somebody to come buy them. A little bit scared because if our tanks are not doing too good in the field, then uh, no other countries are going to want to buy them. Right now, it's just the British that are out here using us. I'll be honest, I didn't really design these tanks to handle the jungles of the Congo. <laughs> I literally put desert camo on it. Oh, that's right. My company's named Pain. I actually lost a little bit of fame in this single battle because, uh, well, the UK used my tanks and they didn't win. Oops. France and Luxembourg have officially ratified an alliance treaty. Oh, wow. The big, powerful nation of Luxembourg, France. That's a big friend to pick up. No, but Luxembourg is pretty rich. So would you like to buy some of our tanks? Holy crap. Uh, Belgium has officially come out on top over the British in the Congo. 49 East Flanders divisions showed to be superior than my tanks. Why does that sound like I just took a massive, massive L? East Flanders, really? So again, that's another win for the Belgian. I, I, why are you fighting my tanks? They're, they're not men for the jungles. Don't use them in the jungles. We should have put that in the warranty. If you happen to be bringing these tanks to Sub-Saharan Africa, they won't work that well. I mean, just look at this thing. It's barely able to move on flat surfaces. I wonder if I can improve my tank here by doing a couple more of these side missions. Something tells me just doing this is not going to actually uh, improve the worth of my company. So I'm basically just waiting for more contracts to roll around because uh, that's the only way we can make money. We need countries to come to us and say, hey, we need tanks. Technically, I have researched enough to make a new design like a Mark II, basically. I don't know if it would make a significant difference. I think if I were to wait at least another six months and then come up with like new blueprints, then definitely the Mark II would be a lot better because there's another fight again still happening in the Congo. Also, the Germans just beat the French so far. We've got another new company joining the ranks, the William Foster with the Athena Mark III. So they're on like the third version. Should I be pumping out more versions? I kind of want to be one of those companies that like doesn't drop an update until it's like a solid update. I'm not trying to be like the latest iPhone. Okay, more wars between Germany and France. They are not, however, happening here in Europe. They're mostly happening in Africa. So if I were to come up with a Mark II, we definitely need to design it for that case, at least if things continue to trend this way. Like the nations are using them to fight in Africa. So let's not throw desert camo on Drew. Well, if it's North Africa, actually. Oh, wow. The British finally won a battle against the Belgians. Oh, the problem is they didn't use my tanks. <laughs> is this why the British Empire is taking L's? It's because of my crappy tanks. They just went back to horses after using my tanks. They're like, nah, these giant toasters aren't doing anything. German Empire has rearmed its artillery regiments with new equipment. Okay, we have to keep that in mind. Obviously, artillery is going to affect our tanks. Norway and the Austro-Hungarian Empire have just signed a trade agreement. And Austria Hungary has allied to Liberia. Thank you. I really needed that information that Austro Hungary, Austria Hungary is allied to little old Liberia here. Okay, clearly I need to rework some of my uh, economy thing because uh, building maintenance, that's that is way too much. We're gonna have to destroy some of these buildings. Maybe the buildings are better to be put in use while I have like a lot of things going on right now. We have nothing. Give me some money back. Oh, nice. Okay, so we have a contract for 20 new tanks and look at that. We got them. Oh boy, Austria Hungary and Serbia are back at war. Now we have a fire, which is gonna cost me 26,000. Okay, so luckily I just had, you know, 20 tanks sitting here doing nothing. They do have defects though. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> We're going to sell them some crappy tanks. Well, that's what you get out of the pain company. They're probably never going to buy from us again. I'm just going to keep going down firepower. Like that's probably the one thing that will help us sell even the crappiest of tanks. Throw like the best gun ever in 1915 and someone's going to buy it, right? We're still waiting for review. They actually might not accept my offer. I could have adjusted this. And you know what? Since they've been doing so bad in the battlefield, they might be a bit more hesitant. 
Ben to jump into any deal with us. Just wait till I make that mark too, man. Just wait. Okay, they did accept it. Thank goodness. Predicted balance 16,000. Also, do we actually have... Oh, I still need to get rid of that building maintenance. Dragons of old, just as previous reported, pointed to new weapons being deployed. Huge gouts of flame sprayed into trench lines. Oh, we have flamethrowers now happening. Oh, can we slap flamethrowers on our tanks? That'd be amazing. Why have they not done that before? Or at least why have I not heard of one doing that before? Okay, so we already have the 20 tanks for the British. We pretty much just have to get it to them now. Go ahead and take a risk here. You know, a lot of our tanks are defunct anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this safety low, which means they might get blown up on the way. Like, someone might blow them up trying to get them to the British Empire. If they get blown up, whatever, I'll just make some new ones, right? We still have some money, but I do really need this contract to go through because we need more money. In fact, if we don't figure this out, we might go bankrupt. Okay, so building maintenance is still pretty high, but uh, it's gonna take a couple days for, I guess, them to tear it down. France and Switzerland have also declared an alliance. I just want to know where France and the UK are standing. There, there'll probably be an alliance kind of, well, France is allied to Luxembourg and Switzerland now. Belgium might ally to Germany, and then who knows the events between Austria-Hungary and Serbia. You guys don't need any tanks? Yeah, there's no tanks so far. Serbia did win the first war against Austria-Hungary, though. Oh, that's right. Also, Italy and Greece are at war. Wow, so that means that Greece is fighting a lot of people. Okay, so the tank delivery has been transferred. Give me my money. Also, we have a Portugal is now underway. Spain and Portugal are fighting, basically. Who is not fighting in this world? This is chaos. Bam! Okay, so we're back over... Wait, where's where's the money at? You should have been getting more for that. I think they, they give us the money up front. Oh, so we still need more contracts. I need to delete every single building I've ever built. Also, we need to fire all of our employees. That's another big thing, because look at all the workers we have just sitting here doing nothing. It's not really the time to be able to do that. It is going to also suck. Did we also have to spend more money just holding on to those tanks? I was just holding on to, for tw to 20 for a long time, which probably caused some defects. 9919 of uh, 1915 will be remembered forever, so something bad's happening with Portugal and Spain. Yeah, there are way too many battles happening all around the world, and not enough tanks being used. Uh, Belgium and Liberia have signed an alliance. That means that Belgium is definitely going to ally to Austria-Hungary in this world, and now Italy and uh, Albania also being friends. A lot of these battles, well, none of these battles have the British uh, taking any sort of fights, or what am I trying to say? They ain't doing nothing, so this, none of it really matters. Oh, this looks like a big one, though. We do want to keep an eye on if any of these other uh, countries start to use other tanks. That's definitely a possibility. Actually, I think some countries are already doing that. When I go to the reverse engineering, there are no rival tanks, even though there's been a lot of places announcing, a lot of companies announcing that they're going to start making tanks. Oh, well, look, the Turks took this part from Greece. Okay, Greece is definitely going down. Greece is going to get eaten by both Italy and Turkey at the same time. I don't think the French and the British are going to save them here. Oh, they're no longer at war with Turkey, though. They did have to cede this land. Oh, you know, I can take out a loan to keep myself alive for a little bit longer if no other contracts come. Oh, I don't think, I think I only delivered the British one tank. Whoops. That's interesting that you can do them separately. Like, you can give them tank by tank if you want. My bad. Okay, we need to get the, I'm gonna just pick whatever is the fastest delivery speed because I don't know when the contract is supposed to expire. I might be close. Okay, yeah, quantity. Make sure you give them all. They asked for 20, I gave them one. <laughs> and then just said, all right, that's a good day's work. Okay, that's why I didn't get paid. I think it said three days, right? Bam, contract for four battalion completed. Very nice. Okay, thank you. Lost a little bit of money. Okay, we're back up to a million. I did lose a little bit of money because I chose to go with the fastest delivery speed. I probably didn't have to do that, but okay, Serbia and Denmark have uh, signed an alliance. This is definitely an insane World War One, but they're not all fighting at the same time. They're just like alliance. It's about to happen. Oh, Spain's probably going to take over Portugal. I'm assuming they're doing pretty good. 32 Sevilla divisions versus 24 Lisboa divisions. Now, while we're doing nothing, do we want to build more tanks? I think right now is actually probably a good time to come up with like a Mark II design, especially because the British are going to have a bunch of defunct tanks that they probably don't love. Or do I want to wait the 56 days? Dang, 56 days. Can I get something really quick that I could throw on the mark? 100 days. Wow. This one will only take 15 days, 36 days. I mean, I guess we can kind of... Improving the engine would be kind of cool. 20 days. All right, a twin engine. Let's just wait 20 days and then I'll come up with a Mark II. Now, we're actually going to have to make some pretty interesting design choices, at least a little bit more complicated than the first one, which I just kind of did whatever they gave me by default. Spain and the Ottomans have signed a trade agreement, so they're one step closer to becoming a full-on alliance. Trench set issued to the front. Something, something trenches. I don't know. Okay, we're back down to, well, we're about to be back down to a million, but that's fine. I don't think it's going to cost me much money to develop my first. Okay, there's the twin engines. Okay, I think this is good enough for a Mark II. I was just saying that I would like to not make tanks and updates that suck. I don't think this is going to suck, but we're going to see. I'm going to go immediately for this anti-infantry rounds. That's going to take 100 days, so this is not going to make our new, uh, our new versions, but for Mar the Mark III, you best believe it's going to be pretty amazing. I think. I mean, it's anti-infantry rounds. What else? 
other tanks fighting at this point in World War One. The thing is, we don't want to beef our tank out too much. But we also have a different hole to use. That's right. Yeah, this is definitely we want to make our Mark II use this. Actually, this isn't even going to be a Mark II. This is just going to be a completely different tank. All right, that's fine. Don't really have anything that we can make changes. No different choices here. We do got some new weapons, new guns to be able to throw on this thing. Ooh, we can slap two guns on the side now. Okay, I can see what my editor Frank has been saying. There's just way too many notifications pop up. I wish I could remove some of these. Like, I can't even go three days without some sort of new notification popping up. But this game is still in early access. Okay, we have another contract from the British. I am not ready to give them my Mark II tanks or my whole different version of the tanks that we were talking about. Uh, well, I do want more money, so I might just have to keep giving them the Mark. I mean, it's still 1915. How much longer do we have for this research? Like, am I close? We're 36. Okay, wait, it's been like 36 days. Maybe I can slap the uh, anti-infantry on this thing. Right, we're definitely using our new twin four-cylinder uh, engines right here. Oh, yeah, look at that bad boy. Wait, would the six-cylinder be better, though? I mean, it depends on what kind of tank that I want to make. Is this the right uh, hole for a six-cylinder? I don't even know where people are going to go in this thing. It's easier to make the four-cylinder, though, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the four-cylinder. We can probably bust out more. I'm just going to throw the most expensive gun I have researched so far on this thing on both sides, too, I think. Oh, we can put guns on all four sides now. Let's go. Okay, this is going to be really inefficient tank. Like, I don't know why. Whatever. Let's not ask any questions. Do I not have the tracks to be able to make this thing the running gear? Crap, I think I need to research some running gear. I mean, I could always use the old hole while we're waiting. This thing is just so ugly, though. I don't know what I was thinking. I was using a six-cylinder before. We can make a secondary version with a four-cylinder. I don't know why we would do that. It brings down the weight, at least. I don't know if this different version is necessarily going to be better but it's gonna be different I'll tell you that I can also use now the uh, this female which I, a male sponson or a female sponson we're gonna use that I don't know why again because we're trying to be different and now I can slap the better gun there's still some engineering changes that I can make individually to the, the hole and each individual component hey, I mean I really gotta actually build this tank it's not messing around who would have guessed oh yeah wait did I take a contract uh yeah you're gonna just get my regular tanks my tank fame is actually down negative 12 the design sucks and my military fame just sucks because the British keep losing my tanks that's on you we didn't do any I, that's not my fault. Now, I can adjust this to maybe make more money. Like, y'all want to give me some more monies? Maybe if they use more of my tanks. I'll make you 25 tanks. That's fine. And then we just, we have four months to do it. I think we can do that. Let's see if they accept that. I don't know why I'm going to make them more tanks than they're probably asking for. However, if they use more of our tanks, then maybe we can, they can actually get some damn wins on the battlefield. I don't know. It sounds like that would work to me. Still building maintenance is like overall what's charging me the most. Oh boy. Yeah. France is actually now at war with Belgium officially. This is actually Belgium that's getting a little cocky, I think. Since they beat the British Empire, they're like, oh, we can beat France now. They ain't nothing. Okay, of course they accepted that. Wait a second. Did they not accept to take uh, they only, they're only doing 20 tanks. Whatever. Oh, no, it says 25 here. Okay, we're gonna see. I can get them 25 if they need 25. Okay, just, you know, figure it out. We have zero in stock. Make 25 tanks for me. That's gonna take 100 days. Wait a second. Is that gonna be long enough? I don't know if we have I don't know if we can build that in time. <laughs> <laughs> we might have been able to build 20 in time, but I don't know if 100 days, we have four months to do it. How do I improve the speed? Actually, there is a way to do it. Yeah, we're not going to build any of this stuff. That's, that's, that's too much money. You guys asking for a miracle. I do not think we're going to be able to make this time, but we're going to see. By 416, it's going to be close, but it is possible, I think. Vickers and the armor race. If anything goes wrong with our production line, though, that we, we're screwed. And things could go wrong. Th I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a German spy that comes up in here and like blows us up. Or I guess in this world, the British are mainly fighting the Belgians, so maybe it's going to be like a Belgian spy. Oh, it might be Portuguese too. They're technically only at war with Portugal. Man, they've got some allies. I just want to see if I'm going to be able to make this deadline. Portugal has been occupied, so this is going to help the UK out because Spain's kicking their butt. We've built six tanks so far and it's February. 75 days left. Uh-oh. I wonder if I still get them. I think we'll get some credit by still getting them, I think. Actually, I don't know. I'd like to see them use my tanks on the battlefield. Oh, now they want 13 new tanks. It's only the British. Yeah, they need to update this so that there's different... There needs to be way more countries asking for tanks. But again, I think it's because this is in uh, early access. British Empire has achieved a remarkable success obtaining the, the rival tank here. This is extraordinary. Oh, so can we reverse engineer that bad boy? We also got the anti-infantry rounds. Oh, uh, no, we still can't use that yet. Even though I'm going to miss this deadline, I guess we'll just, yeah, bolt assembly. That's fine. I got 11 tanks so far. We could have made it. I should have moved the date back. I don't know why I did that. I guess I had too much confidence in our tank company. I wonder if the British are just going to come to my grounds and blow me up because they're going to be so mad. Oh, wow. I, I didn't even get them the tank. Okay, 
whoops. And they're equipping it with a competitor's design instead. Ouch, that one actually hurts. Can I take your next? Oh, oh, it, that is for a different contract that I didn't even accept. This is going to be another one, another deadline that I'm, wow, the British Empire are really going to hate me right here. We've got like, uh, 20 days. Okay, it's February and I have 20 tanks built, unfortunately, or fortunately. Maybe I'll still get them these 20 tanks though. 16 days left. Okay, I'm still going to ship these tanks to them. Maybe that will have them not kill me. We get 21 tanks. I mean, that's still pretty nice, right? Um, we can afford for it to be a little bit slow. Seven days, that's fine. You're going to get the first batch. We're not going to get into, they should still pay us like a little bit, right? It should be a percentage basis. Maybe give me like a little bit of a penalty. I don't know why I'm trying to reason with the AI here. Oh, oh my gosh. The tank delivery was delayed by five days. I hope that's still enough time to even get the 21 tanks. I mean, that's not even what they asked for. Contract for five battalions completed. The time is out Uh, for five battalion regiment is now equipped. Well, we got them some things and I made money. Okay, so it's okay. Portugal's been occupied again. What am I gonna do with these four tanks? That was stupid. Did, did they only require at least 20 and then I could have given them 21 or 25? I gave them 25, 21. And Portugal's getting their butt kicked. They're being occupied by both Spain and France down here at the very bottom. Portugal just barely alive. But then again, Portugal has their African colonies, which isn't much in World War I. They gained more uh, colonial Africa after World War I. Ethiopia and Italy fighting here. Not a surprise historically. Whoa, a lot of wars in the Balkans too. What is Belgium doing? I don't know why that's happening. Belgium is aggressive in this game. All right, well, I have four leftover tanks for like literally no reason. I really love the potential for this game. I think there's a lot to be done here. Can't wait for future updates. And big thanks to my patrons. Kansas was mentioned. Douchebag. A fat normal. Carmel Amateur Archaeology. Beautiful Megan Edward Frederick Hatterlin. Headland. Inquisitor Zarius. Draven's John Annoying Friend. Luxembourg loves heavy. Ride the pie. I love the Mexican 760. And Zany Boy.